Yes, there is. There is, a, there is an L. When Forrest uh, Lucas took us on a tour of his estate in Carmel, he talked about his life since putting his name on the Colts' new home. It changes everybody's perspective because that's, that's the kind of thing a Fortune 500 company does. So all of a sudden, we went from being a, a company this size in people's eyes to a company way up here, which is bigger than it was. Forrest and Charlotte Lucas uh, found they, they instantly really topped the VIP list for Indianapolis events. The very first thing that I brought up here and was all the evening gowns and, and um, cocktail dresses and things, because I definitely don't need them in Crawford County. <laughs> An interest in working for Lucas Oil went way up. Last week we had a lady say that she was going to figure out a job that we needed done, and then she was going to apply for it. <laughs> we have a waiting list of people wanting to come to work for us all the time. Lucas Oil is a global company with headquarters in Corona, California. The Indiana production facility in Corden makes 70% of all the products. You know At 69, bugged. Forrest is not so, uh, retiring and considers his staff his family. There's around 400 people. And I take it very, very seriously because most of the people who work for us, it's more of a career than it is a job. Seriously. Mm -hmm. And we treat them that way. Queen's chair. Forrest says he's old fashioned, and if you want to be like him, so, you have to agree to three yeah, principles at all times. I don't lie to anybody. I don't lie to my people, and I don't allow them to lie to me. And they're not allowed to lie to their customers either. Everybody has to tell each other the truth. And, and rude. Nobody in our company is allowed to be rude. You'll never find a, anybody say they met a rude employee at Lucas Oil. And, and, and being nice to people doesn't cost anything. It's just free. It doesn't cost anything. It's just a matter of being nice. Hi, how you doing? Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Those kind of words, you know. It doesn't cost anything. It's about respect. Respect. Mm -hmm. Give respect, you get respect. Yeah, but if they treat me with disrespect or try to con me, then they find out I'm a, I'm a whole other person. Despite a disappointing season, Lucas says his relationship with the Colts is solid. He signed a 20-year, $120 million deal for the naming rights for the new stadium two years before the city landed the big game. It should uh, be immense, absolutely immense for us. The Super Bowl host committee has been hard at work. Lucas donated $1 million to the city's $25 million campaign to land the Super Bowl. And in the days leading up to kickoff, the couple will host two parties at their Carmel estate, one for the Colts, the other for Super Bowl sponsors. Hosting an easy decision, he says, since the relationship with football has paid off. Outside of racing, which is most people, they didn't know us, but most everybody knows something about us now. It's hard to find somebody who never heard of Lucas Oil nowadays.